Hello everyone, I'm Ruzbe Akbari and this is uh, Sahar Teh. And together uh, we have worked on this project for this year's iteration of the Biennial de Kafka Biennial in Kitchener. So this project came about almost two years ago and uh, at the time uh, we were both living between uh, Canada and Iran and we were doing a lot of research around um, how public spaces and sound specifically uh, works in public space. So originally the idea for us was to uh, create uh, an opportunity for eavesdropping. So the sculptures that we see within this installation uh, essentially give the audience or the passers-by the opportunity to uh, engage with uh, a very kind of subtle uh, soundscape. Uh, the position of the trees are something that are more performative and how would you kind of contextualize them? They were more of our interest about this moment of listening. So yeah, creating like yeah. a habitat almost. Creating for that to like happen. a habitat, a temporary space for other living species around us that, as specifically talking about birds, are an essential part of our uh, sonic space. And they really contextual, contextualize our soundscapes pretty much and we we were really interested in listening to birds and we also were inspired by the idea of domes and uh, parabolic as a shape to capture sounds um, in a directional way so we tried to create create this kind of conversational form between the trees and the sculptures but also a place that is a more free form people can come and engage with the piece however they interpret it as well. And just, Intuitively, sonically. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and just to add to that, I would say, I mean, in the beginning of the pandemic, uh, there was a pivot for many people to kind of look at nature and try to understand their position within these soundscapes. And we were doing a lot of research around how um, an interest in birds watching and kind of listening to bird calls uh, requires this parabolic dome as a way of... Uh, Kind of accentuating or amplifying that sound. So the domes they were working with with sculptures are referencing that, but at the same time they're functioning as some kind of a, like a visual standalone thing. And this tension between like a singular tree and the sculpture is, uh, I would say, like the poetics of the work that we were interested in uh, from the beginning as well. And we decided that as everything is happening around us in the world and the ideas of noise and capturing noise versus what's important to listen to, we decided to go towards a more contemplative way of approaching the piece and inviting the audience and whoever is interacting with this piece to participate in a very specific form of listening and contemplating on the environment rather than necessarily just adding our own sound to it. So thank you everyone for watching. And come check out our sculpture at the Civic Center Park in Kitchener. <laughs>